Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to learn about dynamic wall data set. Dynamic wall is a 10 meter near real time NRT land use or land cover LVLC data set that includes class probabilities and level information for nine classes. So this line is from our Indian data catalog dynamic world version one. And this data set is available from 2015, June 27 to present. And uh, signal to L1C images are used to generate this dynamic world data set. Uh, and signal to L1C images uh, need to have cloud pixel percentages less than 35%. And the naming system is here the naming system of uh, this data set is synonymous or same to the uh, signal to L1C. So here we can see the example. The last part is the same. There is a very helpful tutorial available in Orthengine uh, tutorials introduction to dynamic wall and this uh, video is being adapted from the part one. We have the bands here. Uh, there are nine different bands or LVLC classes. So this contains estimated probabilities and there is one extra band called level. And we also have the colors for each LVLC class and some codes at the bottom. So this is from the Orphans in Data Catalog. Um, and we can also read from the article titled Dynamic World Near Real Time Global 10 Meter Land Use Land Cover Mapping. And in the abstract, we can read it. Uh, this is the new automated approach for globally consistent high resolution near real time NRT land use land cover LLC classification leveraging deep learning on 10 meter synchronous tool imagery. And this is open continuous feed of LLC predictions in parallel with central to acquisitions. And we go to the Orphans in now. So in this video, we are trying to learn to visualize this data set. And uh, it starts with selecting the geometry or the point uh, that is our area of interest. And we start by selecting two different dates, our start date and end dates. So here are two different dates for the example. And then we have the sentinel to image selected. So we are here using Copernicus signal to harmonize data set uh, with the dates filter with start and end dates uh, bounded by the geometry or the point. And the most important here is we are uh, we are providing this filter cloudy pixel processes less than twenty five. So there are some visualizing here, some zooming. And, and the important thing is here we are retrieving the system index. And this will help to retrieve the dynamic world data set. So this image ID is being used to filter the dynamic world data set. And the visualizing is easy. We select the band level band and we here we have here we have the minimum and the maximum uh, for nine different LLC class and we provide the color and add them as the layer. So this is the first way and there is also the second method. The other method is the probability helset visualization. In this method we select the different bands and from those bands, we uh, select the highest probability values at each pixel. And those highest probability values are 
run through the algorithms to enhance their visualization. So it begins with uh, selecting different uh, probability bands or different LVLC classes. And uh, we select the highest values, highest probability values at each pixel. And this is converted to uh, the integers, making it suitable for the algorithm. So here we have the algorithm ee.terrain.hillset. Uh, and that is divided by 255 to convert the values into uh, 0 to 1. So we also colorize the classification image uh, by dot visualize and by dividing it with 255. And that image is multiplied by hillset. And after doing some uh, as to have providing some visualizing parameters, we add them as the layer. So if we run this all, the first one here, we have the signal to emis, then we get the classified emis, then we have the probability hill set. So the classified emis is a smooth, uh, it has some distinct boundary, uh, among the classes. Then we have the probability hill set. Here I see some bulging out of these uh, classes and uh, the boundaries are not somewhat distinct. Uh, however, this has some richer visualization uh, as the probabilities are being used uh, to visualize the LVLC classes. So this was the tutorial. Um, that was uh, in the Orthodox tutorials. We tried to adapt from them. Uh, we thank uh, the special thoughts and everyone. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.